Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Our Catholic Prayers Podcast. I'm Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. The Litany of the Sorrowful Mother, which I'm about to recite, like all litanies, can be prayed for private use either individually or in a group setting, with one person reading each petition while the rest of the group says the words printed in most prayer books in italics. The response is for each as saying, pray for us. As such, this litany, like many others, gives us some important insights for meditation on those events that made our Blessed Mother our Sorrowful Mother as well. We see among the many petitions those that are used in the Seven Sorrows Prayers in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which can also be prayed as the Seven Sorrows Rosary. I will link to a page covering that particular devotion in the description page for this podcast. As a quick reminder, these sorrows are known in one title or another as the Prophecy of Simeon the Holy Family's flight into Egypt, the loss of the child Jesus in the temple. Mary meets Jesus on the way to Calvary. Jesus dies on the cross. Mary receives the body of Jesus in her arms. And finally, Jesus is placed in the tomb. In a podcast on YouTube, the renowned exorcist Father Chad Ripperger commented on this litany, that in it you get a very deep sense of all the different facets of our sorrowful mother's suffering. And, as he put it, there's all sorts of facets that you learn from that. Father Ripperger has also noted that Our Lady, who is filled with grace, of course, can also help you with much-needed graces as you strive for sanctity. In praying to her as Our Lady of Sorrows, she can reveal your own spiritual defects, your sinful proclivities, as it were, so that you can fight against these sins with the corresponding virtues, such as humility over pride, temperance over gluttony, and chastity over lust, for some prominent examples. In this regard, Father also mentioned most significantly that As he said, the closer you are to Our Lady, because she is the mediatrix of all grace, the two principal effects of grace are to enlighten the mind and strengthen the will. And she gives you the grace to see these things much more clearly and for what they actually are. And of course, devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows, Our Sorrowful Mother, is a great way to comfort her in these days when she sees her son and his church suffering from so much indifference, opprobrium, blasphemy, and even apostasy in these dark days. The litany itself follows. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Mother of Christ, Pray for us. Mother of our Savior crucified, pray for us. Mother most sorrowful, pray for us. Mother most tearful, pray for us. Mother most afflicted, pray for us. Mother most lonely, pray for us. Mother most desolate, pray for us. Mother pierced by the sword of sorrow, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Comfort of the sorrowful, pray for us. 
Help of the needy. Pray for us. Protectress of the forsaken. Pray for us. Support of widows and orphans. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Hope of the troubled. Pray for us. Haven of the shipwrecked. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Hope of the despairing. Pray for us. Mother of mercy. Pray for us. Through thy poverty in the stable of Bethlehem, pray for us. Through thy sorrow at the prophecy of Simeon, pray for us. Through thy sad flight into Egypt, pray for us. Through thine anxiety when seeking thy lost child, pray for us. Through thy grief when seeing the divine Son persecuted, pray for us. Through thy fear and anxiety, when Jesus was apprehended, pray for us. Through the pain caused thee by the treason of Judas and the denial of Peter, pray for us. Through thy sad meeting with Jesus on the way of the cross, pray for us. Through the tortures thy loving heart suffered at the crucifixion of Jesus, pray for us. Through thine agony at the death of Jesus, Pray for us. Through the sword of sorrow that pierced thy heart when the side of Jesus was transfixed by the lance. Pray for us. Through thy lamentations over the dead body of thy divine Son lying on thy bosom. Pray for us. Through thy deep mourning at his tomb. Pray for us. Through thy desolation after the burial of Jesus. Pray for us. Through the tears thou didst shed for thy beloved Son, pray for us. Through thy wonderful resignation at the will of God in all thy sufferings, pray for us. O Queen of Peace, pray for us. In all our tribulations, pray for us. In our illnesses and pains, pray for us. In our sorrows and afflictions, pray for us. In our need and destitution, pray for us. In our fears and dangers, pray for us. In the hour of our death, pray for us. On the day of judgment, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O sorrowful virgin, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord Jesus Christ, let thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, whose holy soul was pierced by a sword of sorrow at the hour of thy passion, implore thy mercy for us, both now and at the hour of our death, who livest and reignest for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks for listening. I'm Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. Please feel free to share this podcast. And if you're listening to it on YouTube or some other host that allows you to subscribe to podcasts, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Our Catholic Prayers podcast channel. Until next time, God bless.